I've been homeless since I was a young kid and um, I don't remember any much of my family but um, yeah, I, I, growing up was tough. My mum was an alcoholic. Um, she used to drink a lot. She always take the anger out on us kids. My dad wasn't around at the time because he had schizophrenia. So, so I lost my dad when I was five. I can remember that. And then my mum was more like a gradual decline. Um, and eventually, like, she just kicked me out into the street and, or drive up to the country and just leave me in the middle of nowhere. And then the alcohol got pretty bad. She couldn't look after me anymore that young you don't know any better you know I thought that was normal just to get abused like every night and I feel lonely and depressed I thought that was just the normal thing and that in a few months I'd move to another house and it'd all start again I thought it was all my fault um, I thought no one loved me because I was a pretty shit kid and I got up to a lot of mischief and stuff um, and I thought I deserved everything that happened Being a ward of the state isn't easy. You don't have anyone looking after you or anything. Um, you don't have any foster parents. Um, so I'd often cry myself to sleep. And the houses that I lived in were just shitholes. There wasn't much like, to live for. I still feel like I've missed my childhood though, because I had to you know, fend for myself so young. And, I miss being a kid. I feel like my life is just full of worry and stress all the time. But hopefully I can deal with that in the future and it won't be too much of a detriment to my future. Before I came to Monash, my life was a mess. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have any plans for the future. I just finished VCE and I didn't get any support from the government because I turned 18. So they didn't care about me anymore and um, I lived an hour and a half away so I had to commute to, to uni. But um, after my first year I got a scholarship from Monash and then I started talking to a youth counsellor um, and, sh and she like, helped me to, to be a bit more stable in my life and I started studying a lot more. I'm studying nursing at Monash and it, it feels good to have like, I can be a professional now and I can make something of my life because I really don't want my kids to go through it so I'm trying to do the hard work now at Monash and studying hard so I can be a nurse and a good one. I want to be a really good nurse. Um, I wanted to be a nurse to help people like me who like, don't have good health care and stuff. And, it's a caring profession and I care a lot for a lot of people, so that's like an outlet for me to help other people. I didn't actually think I could pass year 10, I thought I'd just drop out and everyone else thought I'd drop out too, but now I got a bit of, I got more hope in my life and I've got goals that I can achieve at uni and I like going to uni, it gives me my life purpose and meaning. is to turn out like my mum and dad um, and hurt my kids and hurt my wife and I don't want to be abusive because that's what all I know like you know, I was abused a lot as a kid and I, I just don't want to turn out like that so I try so hard to, to change the patterns in my life. who's finding it hard I just they should really ask for help because that's taking the first step is always a good thing um, and, and it can only get easier 
it's not meant to do it on your own. And, um, just taking the first step was really good for me, and I, and I think if you can ask for help, then people are more willing to help you. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but at least now that that the uni knows that I, I struggle, and I can always come to them if it does get worse.